beginning of the movie we see a boy who has not been given any name in the movie and that is why we will call him boy the boy is actually a gardener astronaut who is growing different plants in his spaceship then suddenly an alarm beeps there and the boy sees that an asteroid is coming straight towards his ship he is unable to do anything to avoid this and his ship crashes after colliding with the asteroid it is revealed that he has come to an unknown planet where there is no sign of life and the land there is also completely barren he tries to contact earth from his device but here he does not get any signal and his connection gets terminated he is very disappointed to see that and how will he be able to go back now and in anger he kicks a stone but that stone comes back upside down and hits it boy once again angrily picks it up and throws it but due to the gravity of this small planet the stone turns around and comes back to him next we see him planting a plant there which is actually a mango tree and he hopes that with the help of this tree he can grow food for himself here but due to the barren land that plant soon dries up and boy's all hopes are shattered he understood that now no one can save him from dying and only then he sees another spaceship coming from the front where does it come from and it crashes on its planet the boy does not understand anything and being curious he goes to check the ship which looks like an alien ship here he sees some footprints and after following them he comes back to his spaceship here he looks at the protective glass of his plant which has been rolling straight towards him and before he can understand anything he sees his mango tree growing rapidly next to which is a girl with pink hair standing surprised he moves closer to her and sees that the girl is giving life to the tree with her powers he does not believe his eyes at all and then the girl turns and looks at him whose features are very similar to those of humans and she starts blushing as soon as she sees the boy so like the boy this girl also does not have a name so we will call her blush the boy himself was also very surprised to see such a beautiful girl greets her shyly blush also comes close to watch him carefully and then suddenly runs away in his spaceship she brings the plants of the boy from inside and they start planting them on the land of that planet the boy sees that those plants are growing rapidly from the aura of blush and suddenly blush accidentally grabs his hand and it seems as if a chemistry has started between them then the fog jams in the boy's helmet due to exhaustion of oxygen and blush removes his helmet after seeing this the boy struggles to breathe but sees that blush is once again using his powers and this creates an atmosphere on the planet in which he can breathe comfortably after some time where boy goes to meet blush in her spaceship and she sees that he is holding a mango in his hand finally their tree had started bearing fruit and the boy wanted blush to try it once he teaches her how to eat mango and we see that blush also likes mango taste similarly their closeness starts growing and both of them start enjoying each other's company even after spending so much time together the boy does not dare to propose her but blush does not want to wait anymore and runs and kisses the boy soon they join their ships and build a house and find out that a new guest has also arrived soon they turn from three to four and like their parents their daughters also loves mango very much the boy is very happy with his life that he has got a family even so far away from earth and he starts enjoying every moment of it with great pleasure then one day his eyes fall on blush's hand on which some black marks have emerged and both of them get upset seeing this blush is no longer as active as before and her health also starts deteriorating boy takes great care of her and blush also behaves normally in front of her daughters but from inside they both know that she does not have much time left and thinking of this makes the boy very sad along with blush's health the condition of planet also starts deteriorating and it starts becoming lifeless as before their mango tree also dries up completely because now blush cannot give her power to the tree and then she finally leaves them boy hugs her for the last time and sees that she has vanished into space after turning into energy seeing this breaks his heart and we see him crying out loud then suddenly he starts suffocating because now the power of blush could not protect him he feels that perhaps his last time has come and slowly his eyes are closed then suddenly after some time he comes to his senses and sees that his daughters are crying by clinging to him out of which exactly the same aura is coming out as blush had and the boy also hugs them it turns out that the aura of his daughters is also very magical due to which the mango tree has come to life again and that planet has become as green as before the boy starts living life again with his daughters because he understood that his daughter's life is also associated with him a few days later they find an alien pet and they name it mango similarly their life was going well and then one day he sees another spaceship crashing there they all run and go to check it and we see that the boy has started blushing once again and with this our movie ends